Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa for those who are new. Previously you guys had seen my empty apartment tour and on Instagram you guys have been dying to see a updated decorated apartment tour. Those who have moved into a new apartment, especially your first apartment, you guys know that it just never feels like completely done. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I just feel like there's just stuff, but it's not completely like where I want or exactly what I want. So today is just a progress tour and maybe in the next couple of months I will put up more of like a finished tour. But I had so much fun thrifting and buying all the stuff to fill my space. It's been super fun. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. So I've been having a blast and I'm excited that you guys are excited to do and come along with me on this journey. So I hope you guys enjoy this video today and I will leave everything in the description box as well. All right guys, let's get started. So when you first walk in to the left, I have this coat closet. I just have vacuum and a couple of coats in there, so I won't go ahead and open it. But when you walk in, this is first what you see. So my kitchen and my living room are both combined. I have a two level apartment and here is the bathroom that I'll show you guys in a second. And then I just have a little storage closet right there. So first let's check out the kitchen. One of my favorite parts is this Simple Human Trash Can. You can find these at Bed Bath & Beyond. What I really like about it is that it's voice activated and motion censored. So if you say open can, it opens right away, which is super cool. It's really handy for like cutting chicken or cracking eggs, just something that you don't really wanna like touch with messy hands, so that's really cool. And then you can just wave your hand in front of it and it also opens, so that's very handy. So my kitchen is just kind of small, but it's just me, so it's super nice. Um, over here I have an island with just some little avocados. I usually have bananas and some other fruit in there and just some decorations, some candles. And my sink right here is really, really cool because it's a farmhouse sink. It's really nice. I never really thought I would like a farmhouse sink that much, but it's super nice. It's really big too, which is kind of cool. Um, and then again, I have some more Simple Human products, my paper towel holder and my dish soap holder. Um, and then just my just hand soap and my blender. <laughs> I love making smoothies. It's still kind of wet because I made one for lunch. And just some other decoration. I just really like busyness. So I still have stuff that I would love to put in here, but this is the sink area and then you turn it around and we have the oven and stove and the microwave and I have another candle going. Gotta have that olive oil <laughs> and wow, that was a weird laugh. <laughs> okay, weird, all right, moving on. My coffee maker, I was about to make coffee earlier but I forgot to start it so leftovers. And in here we have all of my bowls, dishes, plates, cups, whatnot, the whole shebang. I really like the non-matching dishes and stuff <laughs> so that's what we got there so this is the kitchen we have my fridge some plants i don't really you guys have never really done a tour like this so i'm not really sure what i'm doing so that's all right i hope you guys are enjoying this but um anyways let's show you the bathroom just a typical bathroom so nothing too crazy but anyways, so we have a half bath down here, just some decorations, you know, some soap, some hand towels, some scenty things. <laughs> oh gosh, and then I have a cute little cacti decoration right here above the toilet. You know, you guys know the drill, it's just a bathroom, so that's about it for that. And then I have a clock, I keep my keys right there, and we'll head into the living room. So I love having an island. Since it's kind of small, I just use that for the table. The table. <laughs> and then I have a couch right here. And then all this goodness. So starting over here, like I said, I have my island. Lots of good smelling candles. These cute little cacti things from Target that are out right now. I think they're like a dollar each, so it's super fun. My non-existent fruit bowl and more candles. This one's my favorite right now. This is cashmere plum. Some little pumpkin decorations and these chairs that I absolutely love and I'll link these down below. They're really comfortable, super nice and pretty inexpensive. And right here by my couch, I have a side table. I also keep my backpack right there because I'm always working. And right here it says, work hard and smile. And just this cool little plant. Um, my friend Jackie also brought this over and I've just kept it. It's a dried, it's actually real, it's dried and it's spray painted pink. So kind of cool, very unique. And my couch is a burrow couch. 
I've had it for a couple of months and I really, really like it. It fits perfect in my space. Um, lots of pillows, love me some throw pillow. Well, pillars, some throw pillows. <laughs> I'm really not good at talking today, guys, I'm sorry. But I also have my gallery wall. You guys have probably seen this on my Instagram. A couple of these middle ones are from Society6 and then a lot of them are from like Target and Home Goods and Hobby Lobby. So that's what we have there. And I have this really fun rug that I got from Ikea. And I have a cute little table right here. I just have some books and magazines and candles, all the essentials. And going this way from the couch, I have this cool little side table that you can also work on, which is really nice because it goes under the couch right here. And then you can put your legs under it and work. You can use it as a little desk. Just some magazines, my um, TV remotes, another candle. I have so many candles. I'm a candle person now. <laughs> and then I have throw pillows, throw blankets, my favorite plant that I got from Home Goods before I moved, cacti and succulent, and this amazing chair. I got this from a Facebook Marketplace. I'm obsessed with it. I got it discounted. A lot of these run for a couple hundred dollars, so I recommend checking eBay or just Facebook Marketplace or just some sort of like thrift store near you. I'll link a couple down below that are pretty inexpensive. I keep my trampoline right there because <laughs> I just don't really have anywhere else to put it, so that's where it goes. Not very cute place to put it, but that's all right. And then this is my TV area. Don't mind, I don't even know what's on the TV, so <laughs> don't mind that. But anyways, I just have some decoration. I got that from the thrift store that I actually got on sale at Target. Um, just some cute little additions. I have this thrifted basket that I put a plant in and this cute little area right here, my little vintage radio with some decorations. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do here. I'm still not sure. I'd actually love to put something down here, but the space from the island to the wall and then the walkway to my stairs, it's just kind of tight. So this is what we have for now. It's not completely done. It doesn't feel completely done, but we got lots of stuff in here and I'm really excited about it. I spend most of my time down here, so it's just kind of cozy and bright and fun and just, I don't know, inspiring. I like working down here, so this is it. And my cute little palm I also got from Home Goods. I'll link something similar as well. And then I have this round mirror that I've had for quite a while. This one is from Target. And that is it for the downstairs. Let's go upstairs. All right, so now that we're upstairs, my upstairs has this really, really super cute carpet. I'm just kidding, it's not my favorite, so I ended up putting a ton of rugs, which I'll show you guys in a second, but, okay, so when you walk up the stairs, all those stairs, sorry if I'm out of breath, because <laughs> every time it's a, it's a good workout. So when you come upstairs, lots of white. I would love to maybe put some like wall decor on the walls where the, where the stairs are. And I have this cute little peepway that I'll show you in a second too. So when you walk up to the right is the master bath, forward is my closet, and over here is the room. So let's first start with the master bath. It's just, it's just a bathroom. There's nothing really super crazy about it. Um, my shower curtain is from Target. It's super fun, very bright, very fun. And then the toilet, just some things. <laughs> oh gosh, nothing super crazy, but this is the stuff that I have right here. I just keep everything that I use like on a daily basis out just so it's simple to use. I just did my hair so my straighteners out. But I also have a really big mirror which is super nice for getting your home ready. And I have lots of storage up here so I have all my hair stuff here, makeup and then just miscellaneous stuff in that bottom drawer in these cabinets. I won't open them up. Maybe I'll do like a what's in my hair drawer or something video at another time but they're kind of messy, so we'll save that for another time. But anyways, so walking out of the bathroom, this is what you see. And I'll show you guys my closet right now. So, okay, to preface this, when I moved from my parents' house, I basically had like a two room closet because my sister moved out when she got married. And so I took over her room. So I still have so much stuff there. So I'm so thankful they let me store some stuff there. But for now, I just have like everything that I wear on a daily basis, <laughs> on a daily basis, here at my apartment. So I try to color organize it, but you know, it's just kind of messy. But I have a lots of hanging clothes right there. 
and then I have lots of bags and like luggage up there and what's so nice about my closet is that I actually have my washer and dryer inside so it's super helpful and very nice just to have in one place so I can do all of my laundry in my closet and then obviously just my laundry basket right there everything to use for my laundry there and my steamer that I probably could not live without I also have like a lot of storage bins and whatnot like under here so lots of purses and shoes so there's just lots of like hidden storage that I have and then I have a lot of graphic tees belts jewelry pajamas in these plastic bins I don't have a lot of room for like actual dresser dressers so this is what I decided to do. I have a graphic tee up here, but it's where I keep all the the, the good stuff. Um, <laughs> but then I have just some more graphic tees, some jewelry. I keep all my purses up here and down here. And I have a lot more stuff at my parents, like I said. Um, but all my hats up here, I have so many hats. Berets, winter hats, sport, sporty hats like the cabbie hats, don't know what that stuff is, just there, and swimsuits. And then extra hangers, lots of shoes, all the faves, some stuff that I still need to shoot right there. And then I have this little hanging thing with my active wear, jeans, pants, all the good stuff. Lots of random hanging pants. <laughs> all right, so out of the closet. You have, well, I have another shoe rack. This one's from Urban Outfitters. I think it's super cute. I just have some other shoes that I wear on a daily basis out here. And then straight on from the closet, I have all my winter coats. Well, at least some of them. It was supposed to be color organized too, but that's all right. I just have all the ones that I wear every year here just to keep them in one spot because they don't fit in this closet. So they're on a rack. I just feel like everything's kind of tightly spaced, so that's all right. So we have the shoe rack with all the shoes, some cute stuff, and just some decor. Sorry, my phone keeps going off. Someone's wanted to get a hold of me. And then I have this wood mirror that I got from Hobby Lobby. You guys probably have seen this a couple of times on my Instagram stories, so this is a space where I do all of my stories, my outfits of the day. So this mirror, I really enjoy it. And then from the mirror, we have this little council that you guys saw me struggle to put together. <laughs> Let's be honest, it took me like three hours to put together. It was $50, it was from Walmart, so to be honest, it was actually a good price for this. Um, I still need to figure out how to close that door, so that's kind of annoying. But anyways, this is just a fun little piece to have. I just put some like summer and spring stuff in there because I can't fit everything in my closet right now. Then on top, I just have this photo of Tyler and I. This cute little, um, what are these called? The little timery things. Gosh, I'm blanking right now. My friend Frankie got that for me. It's super cute. Again, lots of candles. This big cacti that I got from Ikea. Yeah, Ikea. Polaroid and my cute little shoes. I love a little cabbie hat. So that's what we have right there. And then I have lots of rugs. Like I said, I don't really love the carpet, so I wanted to do lots of rugs. Um, this big rug is from Urban Outfitters, and all my other rugs are from Home Goods. So that's what we have here, and this couch that I thrifted, you guys saw the Instagram behind the scenes of me trying to put that in my car. That was a trip, and thank goodness for Tyler because he was very helpful. And lots of just pillows, blankets. You guys remember these um, posters from my parents' house? I had an entire wall filled with them. So I'm not sure what I want to do with the rest, but for now, that's what I did right there. More rugs. And then this is my bed. So, <laughs> I don't know, I'm still deciding what I want to do here too. I would love to put some like, like faux wallpaper up here, but it's kind of at an angle. So I'm not sure what I want to do. So I have all of my pillows and whatnot on my bed. I got this really cool headboard from a vintage thrift store. I always wanted to do something like that behind my bed, but it's just so white in here. I'm just not sure what I want to do. So again, this is the progress tour. I'll keep you guys updated with what I do, but these are all my pillows. I love this jersey sheet. Um, it goes over my down comforter. It's so comfortable. I will link it for you guys down below. It's from Urban Outfitters. Then actually below my bed, I have so much storage too. I have shoes and purses, so that's kind of fun. A good space to store everything. So that's the bed area. We're getting crazy up in here. 
<laughs> oh gosh. And then here is the other area where I first did my outfit of the days when I first moved in before I got the wood mirror. This mirror is from Ikea and then this locker is from Urban Outfitters. I just store a lot of random stuff in there. My yoga mat and weights. And this is it. This is a little peepway that was from the stairs. So that's a cool little, a cool little feature. But anyways, this is my room. It's super fun. It's not yet done. I started decorating the downstairs first, like the first month. And then I actually recently just kind of started decorating my room. So I don't know, it's still coming together and I'm looking forward to getting some more things to finish it off to make it feel a little bit more complete. But this is it. This is the little decorated progress tour. All right, so that is it for today's video. Like I said, I'll probably be doing an updated tour here in the next couple of months once things get a little bit more completed. I don't know, I don't really feel like it's super completed right now, but you guys probably think it probably is, so I'm probably just crazy. But I'll probably put one up in the next couple of months that's more completed. But anyways, like I said in the beginning, I'll put all of the things linked down below. I did thrift quite a few things, so I'll also put similar items um, in replace of those. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you wanna keep following along, I post a lot of things on my Instagram, so I'll put that right here if you want to follow along. And I'll see you guys in my next video.